Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and if you're a gameplay streamer, I want to show you something really cool inside OBS, because I've only just discovered this recently, after being frustrated playing Dead Island 2 and not being able to take screenshots really easily for thumbnails for my YouTube videos. That game is through Epic Games, and Epic Games is awful for taking screenshots, because you don't have a button like you do in Steam where you can just press F12 and snap a nice screenshot of the game. And there's no easy way to do it other than printing your entire screen and then pasting it into paint, for example, and then saving it. And that's a real hassle. But there's good news because what you can do is you can go into OBS and use that instead. So I want to show you a little trick that I've learned that makes it really easy to take screenshots and in interesting ways as well. So what you do is you open up OBS, as you can see, and we basically go into the hotkeys section. Now in the hotkeys down here, you'll see that there's an option for screenshot output and then also screenshot selected source. Now these are two different things. Screenshot selected source is useful because you can choose a single source of what's in OBS. And then when you press that button combination, you can take a screenshot of exactly what that source is. So the obvious example is a game. Now, as you can see in my setup and probably in yours too, if you're a streamer or content creator, you might have multiple output sources. So for example, your camera, overlays, alerts, chat, maybe whatever else, donation messages and other things. Obviously you could capture all that with the output source. So you just press those two buttons and it captures everything that's on the screen in OBS in one go. But what you might want is a really clean game screenshot where it's literally just the game and nothing else. And those are obviously perfect for thumbnails in YouTube videos. If you want to use a thumbnail, then you have the option to just press those buttons and then you can capture it. So that is where the output selected source comes in. So what you do, you can see that I've got two different setups here. So you basically have to assign it a shortcut key combination. I'm using control plus minus and control plus uh, equals as my options you can choose whatever you want but that's the logic there just because I usually use control plus zero as my save replay buffer just for ease of memory just remembering what's going on there but essentially what we need to do is to select the source in OBS so in the mainstream that you're using you'd select the one that you want to capture so if I click on gameplay capture for example on the game capture Usually what I do is I go into a game, so you click on here, for example, you select the game that you want. So you can see I've got Dead Island 2 as my backdrop one. And then that's highlighted as the source for that, so the, the selected one. So now when I launch the game and I go into that game, when I press the screenshot button, it will just do that. So I'll just show you the process set for that now. So now you can see, obviously, I've got the game running and I've selected it. I'm in a different scene here. This is my usual scene, as it, as you would see if you're watching me on the stream, minus the prawn suit. But you can see, like, I've got the alert bar over there and some icons. And then, obviously, you've got some other things that will pop up on the screen as well. But um, we can go through. So let's find something. Let's say we want to take a picture of this lady. What we could do... <laughs> is you can press control. Oh, so control is crouch. So <laughs> just for, you might want to pick something that isn't crouch, but um, control and minus or control and plus or equals. And now I've taken the two screenshots. And so now what I can show you is if I open up my folder, what will happen is, so this is where all my clips go into. If I sort... I type, you'll see that now I have two screenshots in here. And this is one of them, which is the one without any overlays. And then the other one is down here. And that's the one with the overlays. Now, obviously, which you use might be down to your preference, but maybe you could do something slightly different so for example i have this other scene which is a reaction cam but you could move this around so let's just say 
to move this over here and then maybe you want to react to what's going on in in the here so you go <laughs> or something equally silly and then press your shortcut buttons and then what you've got is now <laughs> we have a very stupid I wouldn't use this as a thumbnail personally but I'm not great at reaction faces and that's probably not the best backdrop but you can see you've got that now obviously you could capture a screenshot from your gameplay clips so you could easily get this effect by just dragging your gameplay clips into your video editor and then finding the right spot in there and then just screenshotting it you could do that really easy in resolve but being able to pose in a specific moment or grab a screenshot of something that's happening in game really easily with just a single button press while also having your reaction camera or whatever else. It's really straightforward. But also to get a clean, clean screenshot of what's happening in a particular source, even when you have a game software like Epic Games, which doesn't support screenshots, makes life really straightforward and simple. Hopefully you found this useful. And if you did, hit that like button and then go and subscribe to the Provoke Prompt Pews to see some hilarity. Thanks for watching.